I know you want to win your ex back and you might wonder why she would want to return to you after being disdained. Hold on, I will explain that these are actions based on neuroscience and have been proven to work very well. Hello, I am Peter, an expert in romantic relationships, and today I will explain this technique to you. I often receive questions like this, how is it possible to make a proud ex, who is full of anger, desire me again? Often, your ex blocks you on social media, doesn't respond to any contact, and seems far from the possibility of reconciliation. That's why I brought these five types of disdain you need to apply in these cases, as it's proven they work very well to break your ex's ego. Perhaps you have already tried other techniques, like the famous no-contact rule, and none have worked so far. The truth is, you don't know what to do anymore. That's why I'm going to be radical in this video, and you need to listen to me. You've got nothing to lose by watching this video and learning these techniques, as they might be your last chance to win your ex back. The first thing you need to do immediately is to stop chasing her, trying to convince her to come back to you. Stop trying to contact her, whether on social media, through messages, or even in person. You have to give her a push away. Complete disdain, as if she had died for you. Literally, you have to think and act as if she had really died. If she had really died, you would have to go through a great heartbreak, you would have to mourn her loss, but you would have to endure. You wouldn't be able to send her messages, see her, or have any kind of interaction with her. But believe that, as painful as it might be, you would manage to overcome the loss and move on. Well, all you have to do is think exactly that. My ex is dead to me, and I will mourn her loss, but I will move on with my life. Your ex left you after weighing the pros and cons, as no one leaves a relationship without carefully considering their actions. She voluntarily exited your life, regardless of her reasons, so treating her departure as if she had really disappeared, had died, is the best way to overcome this phase. Deny any attempt of attention she tries to get from you. Your ex was used to you chasing after her, courting her, sending her messages, and other forms of contact. Now, even if she has no intention of coming back to you, she will miss the attention you gave her. Guaranteed. Everyone likes attention, as human beings we need attention and recognition, and that's what you provided your ex by constantly contacting her. The problem is, when things are too easy, we don't value them. The more you tried to show your affection for your ex, the less she valued it. Often, she simply disdained you. Because she had that power. It's human nature. If you have two people interested in you and one is constantly pursuing you with displays of affection and the other shows they like you but keep some distance, some challenge, it's more likely that you will try to win over the one who offers you a challenge and disregard the one who gives you affection. But now that you've distanced yourself, behaving as if she doesn't exist, she will feel that lack of attention you used to give her. And believe it. She will value you much more now that you disdain her, than when you were constantly chasing after her. Imagine that you spent a long time doing everything for this person, begging and chasing, and suddenly you stop, you cut off communication, you no longer insist, you only speak to this person if you are really forced to do so. It's a huge pattern break. It's likely that for some time she may feel relieved that you are leaving her alone. But she will miss the attention you used to give her. She will miss you. When you stop chasing her, you remove the urgency from the other person, so this indifference will make your ex wonder what happened and come after you out of curiosity, or to find out why you drastically changed your attitude. This means that your ex will call you, send you messages. She might even create a fake profile to follow you on social media and will ask friends what you are up to, why you are more distant, why you are indifferent, why you are no longer insisting on her. And then you start to plant the seed of fear of losing you. You start to create fear, because she will think that you will distance yourself and the relationship will end for good. Yes, what you had was a relationship. A toxic relationship for you, but very rewarding for her. 
And now the relationship is over. You left her. You left her, just as she had left you before. Now she will feel something similar to what you felt all this time. Detachment is something surreal. Detachment is when you stop thinking that your life revolves around the world of the other person, when you stop being there all the time at your ex's disposal, stopping doing your own things, they're like a doormat for your ex to step on. When you come out of detachment, you start to value yourself, to prioritize yourself, you start to be the alpha in the relationship. Because when the relationship ends you are available, you are attached to her, you suffer, you talk about your feelings, and everything that you shouldn't talk about. And this gives her power. She feels good and will never want to come back. It's much better for her to have you there, available to her, than to return to a monotonous relationship. But when all that suddenly disappears. When you detach from someone, giving them coldness, you make the person miss you. You remove that excessive attachment, which made the person want to distance themselves, and makes this person start to think about you much more than when you were always present. Now you will activate that emotional attachment you felt, that irrational fear, in your ex. It may not be immediate, but it will be soon. Another type of disdain is when you make your ex feel guilty. When you give up on her and start to take better care of yourself, begin to have your own life, when you seem to be always happy. Doing new things that your ex also like to do, but can't now because she left you. You're enjoying life, going out with friends, traveling, having fun. She will feel guilty for having left the relationship. You haven't forgotten her. We know that. But she doesn't know and will think you are forgetting her. Moving away definitively. So your ex has several negative feelings eating away at her. She feels abandoned by you, she misses your attention, she feels guilt for what she is feeling. This is very powerful and will make her seek you out, maybe even tentatively propose a reconciliation. And, of course, you won't just accept foolishly. If you do, she will realize that it was all a trick on your part, that it was pretense and that you continue to suffer inside. Then she will distance herself even more. That's why you will tell her that now you are focused on yourself, on improving yourself in every aspect. And for now, you are not ready for a relationship. This will make your ex even more determined to win you over. You remember me saying that we don't value what we have and only want what is harder to get. Well. Now you have become a challenge for your ex. Now she will chase after you. Now that you have detached from her and show her disdain, you awaken the feeling of conquest, of struggle, in your ex. Now, instead of it being you who wants to return to her, it will be her wanting to return to you. But for this, you can't falter. You can't give in to her advances. Now it's her turn to feel what you felt when she left you. She will feel what you felt when you tried to convince her to come back and she disdained you. And with this, your ex will feel guilty for having ended the relationship. Lastly, when you start talking to your ex, you will keep your self-esteem high. You will never flatter her, ask if she wants to come back, or be constantly available again. Even when you compliment her, you will steal that compliment for yourself. Let me explain. Suppose you meet her and she looks very beautiful. You won't tell her that she is beautiful. That would be a direct compliment. You will say that she looks beautiful in that outfit. This is an indirect compliment. Then, you bring the compliment back to yourself, saying that you like that style of clothing. Do you see what I mean? You compliment her indirectly, saying she looks beautiful because she is dressed in a style of clothing that you like. It's as if you give her the compliment and then take it back. You will talk to her without giving her much importance. You have to show her that the most important person to you is yourself. That your life now focuses on you, not on hers as it used to be. That even though you like her company, she is no longer your priority. You will demonstrate to her that you still like her, but are not willing to return to the relationship you had. That if she wants to win you over, she will have to work hard to achieve it. Don't be afraid, she won't give up just because you play hard to get. When you make yourself hard to get, you challenge her, challenge her pride, to try and seduce you. This will make her see you in a new light. 
Before, she disdained you because she thought you were weak, always chasing the crumbs she threw your way. Now, she will value you more. She will feel respect and admiration for you as a man who knows what he wants, and when he wants it. I hope you liked these tips I've shared because they can turn the game in your favor in no time. But for that, you have to apply them as I've instructed. You can't hesitate. You can't give in at her first attempts to win you back. If you want to delve deeper into this topic, to learn how you can truly win your ex back in an orderly, step-by-step -step manner, I will leave a link in the description to a book I currently have on promotion. It will be of great help for you to do everything correctly, in the right order, without jumping from technique to technique unsuccessfully. I will also leave links to other related videos in the description, and here on the side, I will leave two suggestions for other videos that will also help you. Don't miss out. All the videos are free. Before you go, please like this video and leave a comment with your thoughts on what I said, or with any remaining questions you might have. I hope to see you in my next video. Take care.